Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the video. I was downstairs today working on the X-Max Ultimate. I was kind of test fitting my KCRC ESC plate and motor mount and I pulled off the gear cover and I came across something that every X-Max suffers from. So this video is more for if you're new to the Traxxas X-Max, the Traxxas X-Max Ultimate, you need to watch this because even though this is widely available, there's a lot of videos on this issue. I still see, and today was one of them, where somebody was posting about destroying their pinion and spur gears. And I am just blown away that Traxxas still has not fixed this issue. The issue comes with the pin system. So if you don't know, X-Max has their motor mount and they have pins. The pins go into the chassis, the motor mount sits on top of those pins so that according to Traxxas, you get a proper mesh. However, it never is. You will destroy your pinion and spur if you leave this truck the way it comes out of the box. And guys, for the Ultimate, it's very frustrating because this truck does come with their upgraded machined pinion and spur. More money, yet if I'd taken this truck out, if I'd ran it, I most definitely guys would have destroyed the pinion and the spur and just made me super frustrated. So what I'm going to do is we're going to kind of position the camera a little bit and I'm going to get you into kind of a good view of the pinion and spur so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Now also guys during this video like I said I was kind of test fitting the KCRC ESC mount and the motor mount. We're going to get those in too because I'm I am going to be running a different system in this truck even though I haven't 100% decided on which one it's going to be yet but either way guys I, I can't stress this enough. If you have a brand new X-Max you're going to want to watch this and you're going to want to fix this. All right, so I've done my best to kind of get my lighting and everything sort of in position where you can see the threads, but not get a bunch of glare off some of the shinier aluminum where it's polished and stuff like that. So I do apologize that this isn't brighter. Everything I did to try to make it brighter just ended up creating glare. But what I want to get at, guys, is this. You can see the threads. So you can see the pinion and the spur. You can see how they're together. Now, if you're new to RC and you don't know this, they're not supposed to bottom out. So you're always supposed to be able to, if you rock your spur, you're supposed to hear like a tick, 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 because that means that the pinion and spur have a little bit of room. You don't want a lot, but you have a little bit of room. You can see guys on this, there's nothing. I'm gonna do my best to kind of show you this. I'm gonna spin it around a bit. There we go, there's pretty good light. But I'm rocking that spur, pinion's moving, turn it a bit, nothing. So again, you should be hearing like a tuck, 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 tuck. Spin a little bit, tuck, 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 nothing. They're not meant to be bottomed out like that. And again, most of you guys know this, you should be able to rock the spur right now. And believe it or not, and I, this is where a lot of people get it wrong. Pinion and spur, meshing those gears is not rocket science. And over the years, we've had the paper trick, we've had this trick, this trick. You know what? Allow them some movement you're going to be pretty good. I guys, I used to do the paper thing and I actually guys, as years gone on, I've even gotten kind of, I don't want to say lazier with meshing, but just kind of eyeballing it, getting a nice fit, making sure that you turn your spur a full 360 degrees. When you've kind of got things sort of screwed down, you turn, make sure that you just kind of move your spur around so that you can kind of see what's going on there. Make sure that everything is good. But this here guys, again, is just awful and I'm losing the light is just awful. That is going to cause, sorry guys, I had to swipe something out of the way. Um, that is going to cause your gears to chip. They're gonna break. This is unacceptable. The way you fix this guys, and I'm not gonna get completely into detail because I'm gonna be doing it later on when I get my motor and everything in, is if you have an X-Max and it's running stock, remove it from the chassis, pull those pins out, put the screws back in, mesh it by hand. Now this is where those little washers, I'm gonna throw a pic right now up on the screen, those little motor mount washers that you can get from Traxxas, to me guys is a very good part to have for your truck as well as just an aluminum motor mount in general because that way you can put a little bit of Loctite on your screw, snug things up and it's not gonna move. I have never actually tried removing the pins and using a plastic motor mount and no motor mount washers. So again, I'm talking about the ones underneath to do this. I've always had an aluminum motor mount and I've had those motor mount washers. And in my opinion, guys, that is the way to go. Just to show you guys, it's kind of hard to do this right now, stay focused on that little area, but you can see 
There's nothing there. Nothing at all. No matter where I spin it. So, and again, guys, I like this is, these are the machine gears. So these are upgraded gears and they're going to be good gears, but they would not have survived this. All right. Now that we've got that out of the way, hopefully you guys found that useful. Hopefully if you are new to Atraxxus X Max and you haven't run your truck yet, you've watched this and you now know what to do. Again, guys, it is simple. You're just removing those pins and properly meshing the motor, I guess you can say by hand. Now, like I mentioned, and I'm going to go over it again, I do recommend an aluminum motor mount and those motor mount washers so that you can snug things up with Loctite, keep it from shifting, all that good stuff. What I'm going to do now, though, is I'm going to get the stock motor, the stock motor mount out of the truck, and I'm just going to, guys, kind of bolt in the KCRC motor mount. I just wanted to kind of get an idea of size, how much room I have for some things I'm just thinking about. Now, before we get to dropping in the KCRC motor mount, I just wanted to quickly go over a few more things regarding the pins and the Traxxas motor mount. So, for those that don't know, if you're new to the X-Max world, you can see right at the bottom, bottom left, bottom right, you can see those pins. Hopefully it's kind of staying focused long enough to see them. And those pins are supposed to give you a proper motor mesh. So, when you drop your motor mount in, it sits in there eventually. There we go. Snug. And you're supposed to have the proper mesh. But... As you saw earlier, they're not. They are maybe 10, 15 thou off in my opinion, guys. I don't even, I, I can't give you guys an accurate measurement, but the fact that the pinion and spur are so snug, that's not right. And again, those pins don't allow for any movement. So if you have an Ultimate or any X-Max, pull your motor mount out and just get rid of those pins. These are the little washers I was talking about right here. Grab those, and you know what guys, grab yourself a aluminum motor mount. And this, I'm gonna be honest guys, it's kind of a shame that I'm not using it because this is a gorgeous chunk of aluminum. It's big, it's beefy, it's nice and clean. I love the blue anodizing. I like how the edges are all kind of beveled off so you can still see the raw aluminum. That's, this is guys really, really nice to the point that I'm gonna be holding on to it. I sell my VXL 8S guys as soon as I get anything from Traxxas. I always sell their ESCs, but this whole setup, guys, this is a good motor. You put in a Max 6, drop in a Max 6, a little bit of gearing changes, and you've got probably the best X Max you can get. And if you're thinking, well, then why are you changing out your ESC and motor to something bigger? Because I have plans for this truck. And what I want to do with this truck, I want the big power for. It's not going to be some high flying basher or anything like that. It's just going to be a lot of fun to drive this truck, rip it around. And again, I think I mentioned that in every video because I know some people, they kind of wonder about why you upgrade ESC and motors in some trucks when, like I just mentioned, this motor, Max 6, a few gearing tweaks, you have a really good X-Max. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to quickly go over that. I wanted to show you guys this. Again, for a lot of people out there who have X-Maxes, you already know this, but if you have an X-Max or you're new to having an X-Max and you're wrecking pinions and spurs and you go into the hobby store and you're buying the upgraded Traxxas ones and you're wrecking those ones too, this is why. Axe those pins, aluminum motor mount, motor mount washers, and trust me, that issue will go away. Now, while I was putting guys the KC RC motor mount on, I did go ahead and put all the four bolts in, snug things up. You can see those blue motor mount washers in there. The reason I kind of put all four screws in, I just didn't want to lose them because I know at times when I'm working on projects, I've got my Mojave for us sitting over here in the corner. Um, it's in tons and tons of pieces and hopefully I don't lose anything for it. But either way, guys, I just wanted to show you guys now the KC RC motor mount and the KC RC ESC plate in the truck now. Now with the ESC plate guys, the way it attaches is it uses kind of the battery trays here at the front. You've got your two screws right there. And then on the back, you have kind of this little plate. So what you do first is you kind of assemble the ESC plate. You've got that bottom plate. You put the screws in, you put the spacers in and all that kind of stuff. And then these two screws guys right there, you can see one right there, one right there. They go into where the VXL 8S was. So you have a very solid ESC plate. You got some room under here. I like the fact guys, you can see I get to keep my stock Traxxas receiver box. So all the waterproofing and all that kind of stuff, all the seals, you don't mess with that. I've seen where some you have to kind of remove this front piece first or this where the wires come out. You got to remove that and then do some kind of funky stuff. You don't have to do that guys with this plate. So I really, really like that. And over here, we got the KC RC motor mount. 
as I showed you guys, I've still got the motor washers in there, all that kind of fun stuff. It's going to be nice and solid. I do have this right here. So that guy's obviously is your gear cover. Now it's a pretty tall gear cover because he's given you a lot of space guys to put in lots of different kind of gearing and all that kind of fun stuff. So to get this in, I'm pretty sure you got to kind of remove this brace and sort of go in from underneath and then bring it down. We'll get to that when we start actually guys installing the motor and all that kind of fun stuff. All right, guys, there you have it. I hope for anybody who is new to the X Max world, you found this informative and it will help you out. I'm not kidding, guys, when I when I say what I'm about to say, and I've said it already, brand new X-Max, out of the box, pull your motor, get rid of those pins, and properly mesh the truck. I would even say, guys, you're buying a brand new X-Max, buy the X-Max, buy an aluminum motor mount, buy those motor mount washers, and then get it done right. Even if you have to ask the store to do it, hopefully they'll kind of cut you a deal because you just bought an expensive truck to get this thing set up properly so that you won't destroy your gears. I've had, this is now my fifth X-Max. I've ran them since the beginning of the 6S to the 8S upgrade kit, then to a few more X-Maxes in between. And it took me a while to really figure out that that is what the problem was. I was at the point, guys, where I would go out, I wouldn't even get through one run without either destroying a pinion or a spur or both. And the day that I pulled those pins, hey, it was life changing when it comes to an X-Max, as cheesy as that sounds. But either way, guys, stay tuned. Again, guys, lots of videos coming for this truck. I don't know if you watched the last one. I have the M2C wheel wideners on there right now, which look insane. We've done the Garage Life RC bits, the green arms. We now have the KC RC motor mount and ESC plate installed. Obviously, guys, we're going to get an ESC motor in the truck. But if you are new and if this is the first video you've watched on this truck and you're kind of wondering, hey, why does it still look brand new? It is. It is the middle of winter. It is, I'm gonna even guys just bring it up quickly on my phone or on my watch so that you guys can see where I am right now in Canada, minus 19 degrees Celsius and it feels like minus 24. Now don't get me wrong, that is cold. It's not like this is our typical day here or anything like that, but you don't wanna go out and run a truck in this temperature, guys. It's awful, plastics will break. <laughs> geez, if they hit a coin on the street, they'd probably break. So this has been a really fun build for me because I'm just able to come downstairs, work on a brand new truck, keep it clean, do all this kind of fun stuff so that when the spring and the summer comes, it's going to be ready and it's going to be good to go. Huge thanks to KCRC for supplying the ESC plate and the motor mount. Huge thanks guys to Cow RC for supplying a lot of stuff. That big, huge pit mat that you see right now that the stand is sitting on came from them. It's kind of, I don't want to call it a game changer because that's ridiculous. But it is a very thick and beefy mat. It keeps things contained. As you drop screws, they actually have, and I have it, the magnetic base that sort of goes in the middle there. But I don't want to ruin that piece with the stand and the, the weight of the X-Max. I'm not sure if it would or not. But the one thing that's nice about even the mat the way it is right now is that this groove you can see right here. If you drop screws, it still stays within the mat versus bouncing and rolling off and then not being able to find them. So yeah, guys, again, huge thanks, KCRC, CowRC, for supplying a, quite a bit of stuff to the channel. And as always, guys, if you like this video, give me a huge thumbs up. Please subscribe and have a great day.